The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. A story, a true story, is told of one of the great shahs of Persia, one of the monarchs, how he used to love to disguise himself and go out among the common people. And one day he went to, well, they had these public bathhouses that were heated from underneath. And someone had to stoke those fires, keep that furnace going. And so he went down underneath the bathhouses that were for the common people and sat down next to a man, well, who kept the fires going. And he did this for two or three days. They would share his lunch and he just assumed he was another one of the poor people who lived in the community and yet he was one of the leaders, one of the monarchs of the whole nation. One day, he finally decided to identify himself and he expected this poor man to ask him for some great gift, for some you know, huge amount of money or to make his standard of life better. But instead, he was amazed. He said, you being who you are came and sat with me day after day after day. He said, I became friends with you. I liked you. You became an important part of my day. And he didn't ask him for anything except for this. He said, is there something you need from me? The Shaw said, he says, you know what I would really like? I would like to just continue being your friend. And I think if we could ask the Lord for something, many people would say, oh, bless me with this or bless me with that. But probably the greatest blessing we have in life from him is that he just becomes not just our savior, which is amazing, but our friend. He's with us every day. He talks to us, we spend time with him. And that's what this man found out. That's what this scripture is talking about. The word became flesh and just dwelt among us. What an amazing gift it is just to have the Lord in your life as a friend who sticks closer than a brother.